Hey friends, welcome back to another Pray Together episode here on this Friday. We have a great number of requests to go through today, so I am hopeful that you will uh, pray with me as we go through this episode one request at a time. If you have a request or a praise you would like to share with the Morning Mindset audience, you can do the so and it will be included in future episodes. You can go to carrygreen.com, C-A-R-E-Y, green like the color dot com slash prayer. All right, we are going to move right into our time of prayer together. Lord God, we thank you for being our God who hears our prayers and who desires to answer for our good. We begin with a request from our sister Michelle, who is asking us to pray for direction and opportunity for her to be able to serve in her church to further Christ's healing and love. And so, Lord, we know that you want us serving alongside those in our local church that may be inside a program the church has. It may be alongside others in the church, outside the doors of the church, Lord. We don't know what you have in mind for Michelle, but we pray, Lord, that you would give her your grace to see your direction, to step through open doors, just to test things out and see how things go. And Lord, more than anything, empower her with your Holy Spirit, that she will be able to to find the right opportunities and serve in the ways you have called her to serve. Lord, our sister Christina is asking us to pray for her regarding the restoration of her marriage. She is confessing that she had an emotional attachment to another man, and she and her husband have been separated for over a year, and her husband now is dating someone else. She's desiring to make things work, and she's begged him to go to counseling but he is convinced that divorce is the only option. He has said that God has told him that divorce would be the best, and she is trying to submit it all to the Lord, but is in a lot of pain. Lord, I can't imagine this situation. I can't imagine the the difficulty, the pain, the struggle that Christina is feeling right now. Lord, I ask you to give her great wisdom in that if it is your will for this family to be reunited, Lord, that you would do it by bringing her husband's heart to a place of change, a change of mind, a change of heart, to be willing to bring about healing in this relationship, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, we have another anonymous request this time from a woman who is asking for prayer regarding her marriage and regarding, in particular, a habit that her husband has that is eating up money uh, that the family needs for other things. She is desiring for him to live as a Christian man should live and not be giving into this habit. Lord, we pray that you would break the chains of this habit and more so you would give this man a desire to break this habit, Lord. Bring about change in his heart. Bring about change in his mind, Lord. I ask that you would show him the power of your Holy Spirit to bring about help in his life and to bring about change for his sake and for the sake of his family, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray alongside our sister Najambi, who says her work environment is very toxic and unhealthy, and her boss is sabotaging her career. She is asking us to pray for guidance and strength so she can deal with this situation as long as she must be in it. And also, Lord, she is hopeful that there would be new opportunities, new doors that would open for her. So, Lord, we pray, first of all, for Najambi, that you would give her eyes to see your purposes and your power in the situation she's in, that she would be able to serve for your glory and for your sake, that she would be able to rest in you and trust in you while she's waiting. And, Lord, that as you bring new opportunities to her. She would have the eyes to see the right ones and step into them, Lord. We pray she would be a witness for your glory and for your sake. In Jesus' name. Lord, we have another anonymous request. A sister who is asking us to pray for a Muslim friend of hers who is very unsatisfied in her religion. And this sister wants this friend to feel the love of God and to know the power of salvation through Christ. Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit would break through the demonic strongholds of Islam over this woman's life. 
that you would show her the lies that she's been taught and reveal to her the glory of Jesus, Lord. Reveal to her in whatever way you know will be most beneficial for her, Lord. Do it in Jesus' name. Father, we have a request from our sister Annette, who is asking us to pray for a number of situations here. First of all, her niece and her husband just lost their first child during the eighth month of pregnancy. And Father, I am just so heartbroken to hear that. I know that's got to be a very painful and terrible circumstance to find themselves in. And Lord, I pray for healing for them. I pray for a restoration of hope because the discouragement is is so damaging and devastating in situations like that, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you would just bring your peace and your comfort in that situation, Lord. Bring them through this difficult time. Annette is also asking us to pray for her sister and her husband and her parents as they all were so attached to the idea of this little child being born. It would have been the first grandchild, the first great grandchild. And Lord, there are two others in the family expecting children, a nephew and and, uh, Annette's son, Lord. We ask that you would enable this close family to be a strength and a benefit to each other as they trust you in the midst of this difficult time, Lord. Guide them in faith to rest in you for the best outcome in the lives of these others who are expecting. Lord, our sister Jackie has a number of prayer requests for us as well. First off, she wants us to pray for her grandmother who is in need of grace here at the end of her life. She's praying for us to ask you, Lord, to ease her pain and to allow her joy during her last days on the earth until she's united with Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Jackie is also asking us to pray for her children. She says she and her husband are what you call a blended family. They have come together after having children from other marriages and the children spend time at their other parents' homes. And Lord, she is asking that we pray that their children would be kept close to the Lord and that you would soften hearts and show yourself to the parents on the other side of the equation, Lord. Use this circumstance, Lord, to bring glory to yourself and to bring faith into the hearts of those who need it. Lord, Jackie is asking us to pray for their faith to remain strong and steadfast in you. They work from home and apparently in their own business. And she said it is scary when their faith is weak and the devil sneaks in through various fears. Lord, they want their home to be blessed, their family to be blessed, their business to be strong. Lord, we pray that you would enable them to cover their bills and to be able to be generous in helping others, Lord. I pray you would give them peace as they trust you, the faith to believe you, to provide for them in every way because they are your children and you are a good father. Lord, Jackie is also asking us to pray for her as she is walking the path toward becoming a donor of a kidney to a 13-year-old child, Lord. We pray that if it is your will, that you would enable Jackie to know that by the testing, by the various criteria she has to meet, Lord, and that you would keep her healthy and enable her to make this donation uh, with the words of Jesus on her lips, Lord, that you have come to give life and to give it more abundantly, Lord, that this child who's receiving this kidney would be blessed in knowing you as their Savior. Father, we have another request from a sister named Colette, who is asking us to pray for her husband to begin to more actively seek Jesus. And she also is asking us to pray for more resources in their school system and in their community to help them with their son who has autism. Lord, we ask you to do these two things in Jesus' name, Lord, to give this man a deep desire for eternal purpose and for a lasting relationship with you, Lord. We pray too that you would give our sister Colette help as she needs it to raise her son who has autism, Lord, that the community, that the programs around would be adequate for them to get the help that they need. 
And she also is asking us, Lord, to pray for her regarding a possible job change that is coming up. Lord, I pray you would open all the right doors and you would close all the incorrect doors. Lord, give her the ability to see your hand at work in the circumstances of her life. Our brother Noah asks us to pray for him to overcome his selfishness. And he's also asking us to pray for his siblings who have not yet come to know Jesus, to know him as their savior. Lord, I love the humble heart behind these requests. I just pray in Noah's heart, Lord, you would develop the heart of a servant like Jesus has, the heart of one who considers others more important than himself, Lord. I pray that you would bring him to a place of service that will minister to the hearts of his siblings and show them Jesus in the flesh that they would have faith in him very soon. Father, our sister Christy comes to us with a praise that she's wanting to share with us. She has tried out for a local amateur women's soccer team and was selected for the team. Lord, we praise you for giving her this favor. We ask that you will give her strength and determination to work hard and to improve her skills in hopes of making the game day roster. That's her heart's desire, Lord. But she wants to trust you at the same time for your timing and your plan, and not to be anxious about the outcome. Lord, we praise you for giving her the ability to demonstrate the skills that you've provided, that you've given to her as your child. We ask you to give her a heart full of praise, just like it is right now, that she can continue to overcome any barriers, and that she can be a glory for you. She can show your glory as she has this opportunity to be on this team. Thank you, Jesus, for this answer to prayer. And Lord, we lift up our sister Daisy, who is asking us to pray for her regarding her job search. She's been searching for about four months, and she believes she has found the company and job where she would like to work, and everything seems aligned. And she has taken some interviews and has completed the entire process. And now she's just waiting to hear back on their decision. Lord, I pray that you give her strength, you would give her resolve, you would enable her to endure this time of waiting. And Lord, that you would give her your grace to accept the position or to accept some other plan, if that is your will, Lord. Fill her up with trust in you in this situation, in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Karen has a handful of requests for us to pray about. First off, for the healing in her body. We're not sure the condition, Lord, but she says she has pain and illness. We ask you, Lord, to bring about healing for Karen in Jesus' name. She also is asking us to pray that you would provide her with a Christ-following boyfriend. Lord, we know what an important thing it is for us to have encouragement and support, and especially in a relationship of this nature. So we ask for Karen that you would guide her to just the right person, and that if it's your will for her to be married or to have a boyfriend, Lord, that you would provide for her in powerful ways. She also is asking us to pray for direction wisdom and new strength in her life, that Jesus would fill her with the Holy Spirit. Lord, we do ask that you would bring these things about, that you would cause Karen's life to be filled up with more of you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And then finally, she asks us to pray for healing for her mother's throat and for her high blood pressure. Lord, please heal and restore her body. In Jesus' name, we ask. Lord, we come alongside our brother Barnabas, who is asking us to pray for him regarding healing from clinical depression. He says it has developed into a chronic state and he feels terrible. He has no energy to get into his daily life and his daily activities as he should. Lord, we ask that in this situation, you would bring healing to Barnabas in a supernatural way. Lord, you would set him free from whatever is causing this depression, whether it's a chemical imbalance in his body or whether it is an emotional drain that's happened in his life. Lord, we ask you in Jesus' name to bring it about in Jesus' name. Our sister Beatrice asks us to pray for her parents' finances. She says they are falling apart and they are going through very tough times. Lord, we pray that you would deliver them from the the creditors, from the difficulties that are going on, Lord, that you would provide every resource they need in Jesus' name. We have an anonymous request 
hear from a sister who is asking us to pray for a coworker who has a 13-year-old niece who is in children's hospital because of severe allergic reactions. The antibiotics and the steroids seem to only hold off the reactions for a little while. Lord, we pray that you would bring healing to this niece, that you would do so in Jesus' name by the power of his blood, and that you would guide the medical professionals who are involved to do things for her good and not her harm. Lord, I don't mean to say that they intend harm, but Lord, sometimes they don't know what's going on and what they try winds up being worse. Lord, we pray that you would give her proper treatment and proper care. The sister is also asking us to pray for another co-worker who has a 28-year-old niece who is in the Marines and has hit her head and is now on life support. And her family is having to decide what to do. It sounds like they are going to take her off of life support. Lord, we pray that you would do a miracle here and you would restore consciousness and life and everything to this young woman. And Lord, that in this situation, you would bring your presence and your peace and your healing to this family. Lord, do so in Jesus' name. Bring about a great miracle that others can see and give you glory for. Lord, we have another anonymous request, a friend's father who is in the hospital. He is alive, but he has been unresponsive for the last week. Lord, we pray that you would release his mind and allow him to give testimony of your great healing with his own mouth, Lord. Bring him back into a place of consciousness and Lord, cause your great name to be praised in this situation in Jesus' name. Father, our sister Madison is asking us to pray for her regarding her relationship to you. Lord, she wants to learn how to better surrender to you and that you would restore to her the joy that she once had in her salvation, Lord, that the struggle to feel close to you would be over. Father, we ask you to bring it about in Jesus' name, to draw Madison to yourself, to help her to cling to you in faith, In spite of the feelings, Lord, show her the truth of your care for her, of your great love for her, and break her into a place of great joy in your presence. In Jesus' name. Our sister Brooklyn asks us to pray for her mother, who has been struggling with migraines for many years and has other health issues that are coming about as well. And the situation and the problems are really kind of unclear. Brooklyn says that this has taken such a great toll on her mother, on her mental and physical health, and it's been hard on the whole family because many of the responsibilities of the household have shifted to be on Brooklyn's plate, and she is still in high school. Father, what a difficult situation. I praise you, first of all, for Brooklyn's humble attitude. She's willing to serve her mother and her family by taking on these responsibilities. We pray that you would strengthen her that you would give her grace to endure every responsibility and every burden that she has to carry. We pray that you would bring healing to her mother, that you bring a resolution to this situation, these migraines, Lord. Cause her to find a way to treat them through diet or through medication or through whatever means you appoint, Lord, to manage these migraines in a way that is more successful. Lord, our sister Whitney asks us to pray for her, that she will have strength, And I'm assuming she means emotionally and physically. She says she has had two miscarriages in the past six months. And she is struggling to understand the reasons for these things, Lord. And that some days are harder than others, Lord. We do know that you allow and bring things into our lives that we, in our wisdom, would prefer not to have. But Lord, you do all things. You work all things together for the good of those who love you. I pray for our sister Whitney here, Lord, that you would sustain her with that truth, that you would give her great comfort in knowing that you are her God and you are caring for her. Lord, give her the grace to endure this sorrow, to process it rightly, and to move forward in faith, Lord. We know it's hard, but we ask you, Lord, to do it in Jesus' name. We come alongside our sister Deborah, who is asking us to pray for her granddaughter named Sierra. She said that Sierra is running wild and she has two small children. There are some dangerous situations going on, Lord. We ask you to bring about a sober-minded wisdom in Sierra, Lord. Cause her heart 
to break with compassion for these little children, for her to move away from her selfish desires and move toward a mindset of serving you through serving these children, Lord. Enable her to do what is right and break free, break her free, Lord, from all the demonic influence that may be pushing her in the wrong direction, Lord. We ask you to set her free in Jesus' name. Lord, we come alongside our brother, Antonio, who is asking us to pray for his friend's grandfather who is having medical issues that confine him to a wheelchair. And we are praying along with Antonio for his healing. So Lord, bring that about. Give him strength in his body, in his legs, in his, in his will, that he would be able to move forward in health and in strength, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Sue Min asks us to pray for her. She is in university and is looking for a job. And she seeks to trust you and to walk in confidence every day, believing that you're going to guide her and to take her where she needs, Lord. I ask you to do that in Jesus' name. Give her faith beyond herself and give her strength, Lord. She's also asking us to pray for many of her friends who are non-believers and are very pessimistic about Christianity. Lord, I pray that you would transform these friends through the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, grant them repentance. Grant them your grace in Jesus' name. Father, we come alongside our sister Kiki, who needs to undergo a series of medical tests. And she is asking, Lord, that you would heal her, that you would reveal what is wrong and that her situation will not get worse. She says that she is extremely worried and needs peace. Lord, she wants to have confidence in you. That's her admission, Lord. So we ask that you would give her great strength to trust you, to trust you with her body, to trust you with her life, to trust you with her healing, to trust you with her feelings, Lord, that you would be the God who is present for Kiki in all these things. In Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Kelsey asks us to pray for her son, Carson, who was diagnosed with epilepsy just after his third birthday. And the doctors told them at that time that he might grow out of it, as many young children do. But in June 2021, he had a clear EEG. Praise you, Jesus, for giving them that kind of a, a prognosis that things are getting better. And Lord, as the doctors are weaning him off of his medication this summer, we ask that his body would handle this all very well and that he would be seizure-free forever. Amen, Lord, and amen. We want to pray in faith with Kelsey that you would bring this about. And Lord, Kelsey is asking us to pray as well for she and her husband to fully trust you because this process, this whole situation has caused them anxiety and worry. And Lord, we ask you to set them free from worry, set them free from the bondage of taking that burden on themselves when you have committed yourself to carry it for them, Lord. Give them the grace to do so in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying alongside our sister Ruby in this next request, Lord. She says she and her children need help from you to gain control over eating habits, to have smaller portions, to be content. Lord, it sounds like there are some, some problems here in terms of binge eating, perhaps, and weight management. Lord, we pray for Ruby and for her children, Lord, that you would give them what they need from the power of your Holy Spirit to have self-control in these areas where they need it. Lord, if there are physical issues going on, give them the ability to find that out and to learn how to treat those things, Lord. And we pray you would bring about deliverance in this situation in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying alongside our sister Emily for her husband, Walter. He has a job interview next Thursday, May 5th. And we ask, Lord, that you give him favor with these employers, if this is the place that you would have him work, Lord. We ask that if this is where you want him to be, you would make yourself evidently involved in the entire process, that Walter can be a blessing for others wherever he works, that your Holy Spirit would empower him and that you would give him great grace, Lord. We pray it in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Renee comes to us with praise and gratitude, and she is thankful specifically for the little 60-second prayer at the end of the morning mindset that's reminding us to pray for our nation, our world, and for each other, and for the Lord to bring about spiritual renewal in our world, Lord. 
we believe together with Renee that your grace and your mercy alone are what will bring healing to our world. Lord, we ask you to do it. We ask you to transform people by the power of your spirit in Jesus' name. Lord, we have an anonymous sister who has asked us to pray with her for guidance and direction on how to move forward with some issues regarding her mortgage. Their family of five, soon to be six because a child is on the way, is six months behind on their payments, approximately $12,000, and they need to know what to do. Lord, should they sell their house? Should they refinance? What could be done? Lord, her husband prays you has a new job that pays better, but it is still below the rate of inflation, and they are needing you to guide them through this situation so they do the right thing. Lord, give this sister and her husband the great grace of your wisdom and the great power of your spirit to know what they should do in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister April is asking us to pray for a situation where it sounds like she lives in some sort of a a home or a residential unit of some sort. And when she came back from shopping, the house manager took away her credit card saying she is not allowed to have it. Lord, we don't know what the circumstance is here, but we pray that you would do what is right, that you would cause that credit card to be uh, kept safe, that you would cause it to be used rightly, and that April will be brought to a place of peace and understanding regarding your will in this, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Sonia asks us to pray for her. She has a certification exam coming up on Saturday. We ask, Lord, that you would give her the ability to remember and to recall the things that she studied to be able to articulate what she knows well and with expertise so that she can pass this exam, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. And Lord, our sister Yvonne asks us to pray that she will become whole and become more like Jesus. Father, that prayer just resonates with humility and resonates with a desire to see your will done in her life. So we pray for Yvonne, Lord, that you would bring it about in Jesus' name, just as she has requested, Lord. Bring healing where it's needed. Bring a powerful relationship with you that she would be more like Christ in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray as well that you would continue to do your great work through the morning mindset and through not a needy person, Lord. Meet needs of people, your people, throughout the globe as we continue to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, thank you for praying with me on this Pray Together episode. We have our prayer request form open 24-7. If you have a request or a praise you would like to share for next week's episode, go to carrygreen.com slash prayer. Thanks, friends. Pray with me again next week.